All right, guys, so by tomorrow, I'll have a video out that has some silver linings. There's a lot of good stuff from this game in the way this team fought, but my goodness, my goodness, Mike LaFleur, who I've supported, I think he schemes guys open. I think he could do a lot worse than an offensive coordinator. I think he's got some creativity, but my goodness, it was a crime against humanity to play calling down in the red zone. It, you have second and one and two feet. You have three plays to get two feet. The only other touchdown you scored was on a QB sneak. And you go shotgun, empty, set motion, running the annexation of Puerto Rico. Trying to outsmart the world. Trying to outsmart the world. You got three chances to get two feet. Here's the play sheet. QB sneak, QB sneak, QB sneak, because it guarantees you don't lose any yards. Worst case scenario, you can sit up right at the line of scrimmage. You're dropping back, taking the ball, five, six yards behind the line of scrimmage to go forward two feet, a fade ball. On second and two feet? Uh, and I know that the pass that was there, it went to Berrios, but it should it should have never come down to that. And Berrios has to catch that. It's it's never just one thing. It's never just one guy. Second and two feet, man. Second and two feet. And Sala, he's on the play call. I'm sorry. I'm buzzing in. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. QB sneak, QB sneak, QB sneak, ball game. Ball game. What what are the percentages, a percent chance of getting stopped on three straight QB sneaks to get two feet? You probably have a 98% success rate. What's the success rate of a back shoulder fade ball? Absolutely crazy. Atrocious, atrocious play calling. There was a lot of other factors in this game, but none of them probably matter if you just do the simple thing and stop trying to be the smartest guy in the room. Got to bounce back. Go Jets.